Hi Taurus, welcome to the Winds of Jupiter, April 2018 Tarot Reading. Now I'd like to thank Christian Kaiser for that amazing nature video that he titled, How Wolves Change Rivers. Now you have a very interesting reading and some really good cards. But it's kind of like the rune that I picked for you. Perthbro. It's about the mystery and the unknown. It's about changing destiny that can change fate. It's about your free will and circumstances, providence, unexpected things. This is like the Norse goddess of fortune. Weird, W-Y-R-D. And this is where the word weird in our language came from. So maybe some weird things or some weird connections are going to be coming up in April. Now your overall energy card is the Knight of Swords. And he's telling you to get a grip. He's holding that sword of truth saying, get a grip here. Use some logic, reason. And use it well when you're making decisions. This guy is kind of like a mini emperor. He's got to run his kingdom as the emperor has to run his empire. And you have to organize things and structure things, make rules and regulations, set boundaries. Maybe some people haven't been following your boundaries and have been stepping over them a little bit. Whatever it is you have to handle, this king is there to help you in a mature way, to take care of some problems. Kings are always there to help you, assist you along with your long-term goals. But with him being swords, he's reminding you that you have to use your intellect and good communication to get what you want in life. Now the card next door to the King of Swords is a card from a deck I put together called the Menciati cards. And they go with any deck. And I made 29 cards that have virtues, all 12 zodiac signs, the elements, the senses, as well as ether, infinity, and chaos. And you receive taste. And this can be taste in your mouth or taste in the aesthetics of life. But I think more is that you've got to make sure that if there's a bad taste in your mouth about something that you're going to be the king of swords and change it. As the Perthrow rune is saying, there's going to be some unexpected and mysterious things kind of coming up. And maybe there's going to be some things that are not going to feel right and have a bad taste to it. Now the cards on the left, for what you know, you receive the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles is a card about satisfaction, happiness, you paid your dues, you went through the trials and tribulations, and now you're feeling comfortable. And you even have some luxuries, and remember, luxury is a feeling, not a material thing. But with it being a nine card, it's saying that you're coming to a completion, or you have, and now you have the seven of cups card that's saying, it's time to make some decisions but you're not quite sure what you want to decide. The Seven of Cups card is about splayed energy, the unknown, and maybe a little bit of fear of the unknown. This card at times can make you analyze your level of happiness and 
Maybe do a little bit of soul searching before you make a decision. You know, what do you really want in life? Individuality? Sexual pleasure? Love? Home? Family? Wealth? Success? Stability? Spirituality? There's a lot of things to choose from in life. A lot of things we've overlooked. Overlooked to even make that decision. And I'm saying that you overlooked it because the card next to the Seven of Cups is another Seven of Cups along with the Sun card. Not saying if you can make the right decisions, you're going to find prosperity, abundance, success, understanding, and insight. Because the Sun card does shine a light on things that you direct your attention to. And maybe it can shine a light on the insides of some of these cups. To dispel some of the fear of making this decision or decisions that you have to make. The Sun card is about exposing truth. And you have the King of Swords at your back, holding the Sword of Truth. The Sun card is about growth and closure of things that with good outcomes. You know, there's three things that Buddha said that can't be hidden. It's the sun, the moon, and the truth. This card right now is a portent of good fortune. And I'm saying that because the cards next door for yourself or self-awareness are excellent cards. It's the Three of Cups and the Empress. Now, the Three of Cups is a teamwork card. People singing on the same sheet of music in harmony. It's a communal union card. It's about getting together with people and celebrating. You might have done some type of cooperative project and now it's at an end and it's time to celebrate. The fruits of your labor kind of thing. It's an ascension card. And here the Empress is about home and hearth and fertility. And the fertility is usually about starting something new. The Empress epitomizes Venus for love, but she also epitomizes all 12 signs of the zodiac. She oversees all of them, so there's going to be a lot of taste of a lot of different things in your life coming in. And your future cards agree that you're going to be starting some new things. Because you received the Page of Cups, the Fool, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. So you're going to get one big wish, or a whole bunch of little wishes, all put together. But the, you have to be careful with the Page of Cups, though. He's a fantasy land kind of guy. His feet aren't necessarily on the, on the ground, and his head's usually up in the clouds. And his imagination is running wild. And a lot of times he's really moody, you know, he's sad from unrequited love and happy because he's falling in love. There isn't a lot of emotional stability here, and he's, you have to have that. Because here you have the Fool card, and you're going to be embarking on some new mission to discover some new mysteries in your life that the Perthro rune is saying is going to be revealed. So now you have the King of Swords for the overall energy that's saying, get a grip. You have the Page of Cups here saying, ha, huh, you know, let's just go off and find some love and not worry about anything else in life. So really, you're going to have to balance that out. Now you have the Three of Wands, which is saying, yeah, you're starting to launch things. You've made plans, and it's going forward. It's moving forward. And you're moving right towards the Wish card, the Nine of Cups. So there's going to be some right time, right place, and some synchronicities going on with this fertility that the Empress is giving and the prosperity that the Sun card is giving if you make the right decisions with the two Seven of Cups cards. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.